All right, right now I'm joined with Daryl Cobb, who will be a part of Shamrock uh, Extreme Fight Night 6 here this Friday in St. Louis. Uh, you know, it's fight week, Daryl, man. How you feeling? Uh, right now we're a couple days away. How you feeling? How's your mind feeling? Oh, I'm excited. Um, mine is calm. Um, I had a real good camp, so I'm ready to go, but I'm excited. The other day, I was excited. I couldn't, couldn't sleep thinking about, thinking about the fight. Um, and it's more of being excited of the show that I want to put on for this thing. So, um, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm good. And it's my, my a great place. And like like I said, you know, the fight here is, is this week. Um, you know, what kind of final preparation are you doing here? You know, we're recording this is Tuesday night. You know, what do you have still left to do, or is everything just pretty much done? You're just ready to get to the venue and throw down. Oh, uh, well, I'm just doing stuff like um, muscle memory things, you know, drills where, you know, I, I react and I don't have to think, you know, no thinking in there. So just. Pretty much everything is done. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of just doing what you would call a cool down phase. And everything is just muscle memory drills. You know, so I can uh, uh, pull off uh, what I want to in the fight for Saturday. Now, speaking of the fight, it's going to be the co-main event of the night against Jared Thomas. Uh, you know, what do you know about your opponent that you're going to be facing here uh, on the 20th? Well, he's, um, he's, he's He's like six three, um, strong kid, um, uh, tough. You know, um, he's gonna come forward, you know, and he's gonna try to throw bombs. So my my thing is to uh, uh, use angles, stay in the pocket, you know, and um, hit him with with some surprises. So um, that's pretty much you know I know about him. He's strong. He's you know tall, and he comes forward. Now, when you're fighting in a fighter who is that aggressive, is it important to try to use their aggression against them to try to lure them in and maybe, you know, maybe set up traps for the try to counter them when they're coming in and they're so wild and so aggressive towards you in a fight? Yeah, that's definitely um, what you want to do. You know, you definitely want to set traps for an overly aggressive guy because um, they pretty much set themselves up, you know, when they come from something like that. Now they're not they're not aggressive at the right time, so that's definitely. Uh, you know, with you being a veteran here in MMA, you know what has kept you still wanting to fight throughout these years. You know, you've had you know close to twenty career bouts. What's kept you focused and and maintaining and still want to stay in this crazy sport known as mixed martial arts? Oh man, that's a very good question. Well, it that's a thing. Just the love for love of the sport. You know, um, I still have a lot, lot left that I need that I want to prove to myself. So not to fans, but just to myself, man. So there's some work that I said I need need to be done. And you know, I'm just, I'm just out there. I'm, not, I'm finally having fun with what, with what I'm doing. You know what I mean? Um, things are not always as practical as them in life, but you gotta take the beer with the sweet, you know what I mean, and, and have fun doing it, and that's what I'm doing, so I'm, I'm out here, and I got some things I want to accomplish for my own, own self, and that's how that's real, and yeah, that's what kept me, kept me focused, it was just that strong, and just things that I want to accomplish for myself, if that makes sense. No, it makes all the sense in the world. Now, you say you have goals and things you want to accomplish, you know. Uh, we're seeing, you know, fighters sometimes, are, some of them are bowing out of the sport a little bit earlier than later. We have some that are fighting way past their prime. We'll see that in Bellator this weekend. But, you know, how much longer do you think you want to stay in this sport? Or is it, you know, you really don't have a, a limit, you know, time limit on that? You're just going to continue to do it as long as you have that, that fire and that passion for it? Yeah, it, it, that's it's, it's it's with the fire and passion. Um, I, I know they say, well, you know, you're 35, 36 years old, and you're getting, you know, you're getting past your prime or whatever, but you got to look at Brent Couture and look at Big Country or that's you know, 39 and you know, 42 and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's just um, the path that I, that I call it. That's my, my passion for it and, you know, and, and 
once once my passion is gone, then no, I will respectfully buy out from. Now, with you being, you know, from the, the St. Louis area, what is the MMA scene like over there in that part of the state? And, and the, you know, the St. Louis, Missouri side, and the Illinois side, is that something that's kind of growing and getting more buzz and more uh, more fighters coming out of that area? Because uh, we're starting to see that really blossom with what Shamrock FC is doing uh, and finding fighters and pulling fighters from that area. Is that something you really see really being a hotbed maybe in a few more years here in MMA? Yeah, um, back when I started, it was it was scarce. You know, it wasn't really a lot of MMA fighters. You know, back in like 2004, stuff in, in Missouri and in Illinois. I mean, they're out there, but it wasn't nothing like nothing. So you got these guys that all uh, they have all those shows. <laughs> Seems like every other weekend, this fighters popping up from nowhere. You know, guys are out there that's really good. So next next few years, uh, I can see. Um, a huge roster uh, for from the St. Louis and Illinois region um, of fighters and having good ones as well, you know. And how important is it, you know, for a promotion like Shamrock to, to make sure they go out and they scout and they find these fighters, whether it be in the local gyms or word of mouth throughout, you know, state of Missouri, you know, they bring you guys from St. Louis and Kansas City. How important is it to have a promotion like that be right there pretty much where you're at to help find these fighters and help build them up and help give them the right kind of fights and not rush them along? Oh, yeah, it's very important because you, you see it all the time. You got these guys, they don't realize, especially, you know, the newcomers, don't realize how, um, how dangerous this sport is. They they watch the UFC and they watch the tour and they say, oh, man, that's what I want to be like. And, you know, they, they go out there and get, get set up to, to, for failure and get tore up. So the thing about Shamrock FC is, they, for one, they've been in business for a long time. You know, so they know what they're doing, and they and they, they take care of these fighters. So they're not going to just put anybody out there and get just half killed. You know what I mean? So these guys can come out, get some experience, and you know, if not, the um, if if Shell and FC keep the next entity out there, you know what I mean? You know, as far as promotions, you know, they'll be the next big thing to get to the next big entity. You know what I mean? So it's it's, it's great. It's great for St. Louis and Illinois to have. Someone like um, Shout Out FC promoting the fights and getting a prepared amateur for amateur hand pro. Well, absolutely. Well, well Daryl, man, give a shout out to any sponsors who help you get prepared here for the fight this week. Okay. Hey, um, I would like to say um, shout out to Ryan Step Muay Thai, um, Jermaine, Andre, Andre's Academy, and, and the crew there. Them guys are really, really good. I love my own um, master chief, Jermaine Andre. All right. As a matter of fact, I got a plug his book. He got a book that just came out in Amazon called Boy Tigers, Cub and the Beast. Got him. It's a must read. Very, very, very dope book. And um, Tyron Woodley, you know, like I said, get that man that title shot. You know, he, he deserves it. You know, he's been in my corner. He's been in this camp with me the entire time. He was a huge missing piece of the puzzle, and I just really, really appreciate him, American Top Team. Um, um, my ma massage therapist, um, Janetta Wilkins, um, uh, Troy White, um, got a hit with my boxing, and just, just all my fans, and definitely Shamrock and uh, FC, you got uh, Jesse Finney and Rob Donaker, I really appreciate you guys uh, for kind of continually treating me good and having me on the show. I appreciate, I appreciate you for giving me the interview. Oh, man, no worries at all, man. And, again, the fans can catch you in action. If you're in the St. Louis area here on the 20th, uh, make sure that you go and check that out. Extreme Fight Night 6, Shamrock FC puts on that card. If you need ticket information, go to shamrockfc.com. Daryl Cobb will be a part of the co-main event against Jared Thompson. So, uh, again, man, we, we appreciate you taking the time here. You know, like I said, it's fight week. Uh, no fighters during fight week. You know, anytime I've interviewed boxers, they're in extremely shitty moods because they're cutting weight. And they're not, you know, the best of all energy. But, Daryl, you brought it this evening, and we appreciate that. Oh, no, no problem, no problem. And right now, I was actually, I was just kind of resting. I had a pretty good train this morning, and I'm going to go hit the run. Just to just sweat. I'm good on weight. I'm like five pounds away, so, you know, I'm chilling. You know, I'm taking it easy. Just excited about what's to come Saturday. 
Well, right on. Well, again, Daryl Cobb, we appreciate you taking the time. And again, fans can catch you in action here on the 20th Shamrock FC Extreme Fight Night 6. Best of luck, my man. Thank you. Thank you.